All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the Croatian sensation, Mario Bacara. Mario, man, look at him. Styling and profiling today, man. You're ready for that match against Rick Recon, it looks like. Mario Bocara is always ready. Mario Bocara is born ready. Rick Recon, you act like you are a machine. You think you are, you are not a man. But I'm going to prove tonight to you, to everybody in BCW, that you are nothing but a piece of garbage. And Mario Bocara is going to show you, you are human, just like everybody else. You think you are cyborg? I'm the Croatian cyborg. All right, I'm here with Rick Recon. Your match is up next. Rick, any strategy going into this match tonight? Like every other match I ever go into, kill them all. Break them all. He's a badass. I've faced him before. He's beaten me at the world-famous Monster Factory. That's not going to happen tonight. This is my house. This is our house. The house of Sasujin. BCW. We win every damn time. No said. Very confident. Rick Recon. Rick, good luck tonight. Entering, entering into the ring. Boy, you guys are doing great with words tonight. The great Zack Snow in charge of the bell. Make sure you check out his music on YouTube. Junior senior, yes, referee and former. Yes, yes, you call it referee and former. And as Shane Fair, our lovely white glove ring announcer, said, this next matchup, a singles matchup, and a matchup that, oh man, I am very happy to see. The cyborg assassin Rick Recon requested representing this Croatia. Weighing in at 98 the kilograms, the Croatian sensation Mario Bocara. The cyborg wants it. We got one of the best in here right now. And this is not a horrible person to try and cut your teeth against at all, but Mario is the real deal. He was on impact with Fall of All. He came back from an injury, I want to say, stronger than ever. Oh, he looks fantastic, definitely. I saw Mario Bocara backstage earlier today, and I told him, just almost similar to what you said, Ryan, this is the leanest, the trimmest, the most jacked I've ever seen Mario Bocara, and I've seen Mario Bocara holding a world title before. And Mario Bocara was one of the most jacked men I'd seen at that point. And now, I mean, he is a dangerous he individual. He told you to shut up. He told you to shut up. Just you. I know I Just like you. Guy. Of course you did. Why me? I know I like this Bocara. That's why I brought him back to BCW. And we'll be taking the Croatian flag. It's pretty. It is a very beautiful flag. But this man coming out does not care about flags or anything like that. He cares about maiming people. And his opponent. to the ring area by the queen heel of everything, Nia Kennedy, and your favorite actor, Mark Schwann, representing the Satsujin Squad from New York, New York. He weighed in this evening at 215 pounds, the cyborg assassin, Rick Recon. Neither man will watch in this match. And as we see, brought to the ring by Nia Kennedy and Mark Swan comes Robocop. No, I mean. Cyborg. I'm going to be honest. Robo, the Cyborg, the Robo Assassin of the Statues. When I say Robocop, not to be funny, AJ, 
but because Rick Recon's sole directive when he is in the ring is to inflict pain on his opponents. I mean, that's all the Satsuchin squad is all about. As they say, change through violence. And now with them, with that promo from Eric Jaden and their newly unified squad, Rick Raycon might be a great opponent for Mario. I mean, no doubt he was going to be a great opponent nonetheless. He's been coming up, and we saw a match uh, not so long ago against Billy Brash. Took him to the limit. I hope Okara's got a lot of questions here tonight. I don't blame him, actually. There's, when you first see these Satsujins, you don't know what to think of them. I'm surprised Naya's out here after uh, last, last month. Well, I mean, she doesn't need to talk, so her jaw is okay. She doesn't Bukara need to, went she right to it. There is no lie in that with Mario Bacara. The minute the bell rang, he was on Rick Recon. Well, that, that's the whole uh, test of a veteran right there. He doesn't care about your silly mask. He doesn't care who you have at ringside. He's going to come straight at you and beat the hell out of you. These two men trading wrestling hold. You usually see some guys feeling each other out, maybe some flips, some dives, this and this. These two men going right at it, mat-based wrestling. But this is a, like you said, feeling each other out. This is a way to feel out your opponent. As a wrestler, you don't, you need to start from the ground up if you've never come against the opponent. And this is the best way to do it, mat wrestling. Well, these two men have faced each other once before at the world famous Monster Factory. And Rick Rico was on the losing end of that matchup against Mario Bacar. I mean, even though these guys are two total badasses and they look so mean, we can't take away from the fact, as we were discussing, these two are fantastic wrestlers on top of it. Vicious chops and now forearms delivered by Recon to Bukhar. Ducks two close out by Bukhar and a shoulder block by Recon. Wow, Rick got Bukhar off his feet. Spicy, Ex that's so early. Extra momentum from running two times across the ring. Look at the force that the ring is shaking. It almost moved uh, about a half an inch. Oh. Yeah. Rico Rick trying to by save th himself. Yeah, it took him a little by surprise. He, he was oriented there, it looked like. I mean, Mario took advantage of that and took out his leg that he was having trouble trying to get on the ropes. Yeah, Rick wasn't definitely prepared for that. He Rick thought he had. Recon not definitely, you know, you don't think of Recon as a flyer at all. So Recon being on the second turnbuckle, not necessarily a place that he's most comfortable with, right, AJ? Well, besides that, whatever, as you say, what he quote unquote program. So whatever Jaden put into his head, he thinks he's above everybody. And that's not gonna fly here against Mario Bocara. Bocara. Two count there by Bocara. You know Bocara trying to take out Recon here. He will try to break him down and embarrass him here tonight. Beautiful suplex once again by Bokar. Cover! One. Two count there. Another He's cover here by Bokar. Now, Riley, you know, you see Bokar there going, gets a two count, quickly goes back into another cover. What is that for? Do you, you think maybe just that extra second you get to keep him down? The, the quick cover idea. I think it's maybe just a little bit of trying to disorient the opponent because you're used to a one, two, oh, you kicked out almost as like a last chance ditch effort just out of habit. But if you go for it again, you don't realize it's happening. Going after the neck here, wrenching back on that neck. And you see the way that his arm is holding that neck in place, Angel. It's very smart move. Cutting off the wind on all areas, making sure to cinch it in tight. Guillotine there, cover! Two count by Mario Bocara. And as we just saw him, look at the way he was, the cover was. Beautiful to keep his shoulders down as long as he could. And that's that veteran instinct of Mario Bocara, being a student of the game, as Riley brought up earlier. There's a reason that Impact Wrestling signed this man. Meanwhile, he's just kind of toying with Rick at this point after yelling at the ref. You talk about veteran, he's got a little bit of arrogance behind him too with that veteran status. Well, I mean, if you've, if you've traveled to where Mario Bocara has traveled and won the things that Mario Bocara has won, I can see where the ego comes in a little bit. Now, Riley, I need to ask you, I heard what happened earlier. What are your feelings now towards these Satsujins? I am going to hold my tongue and see if actions speak louder than words in their case, for sure. Rico 
Akon throwing some bombs here, going with those big forearm shots to Mario Bocaran, putting him down in the corner here. Yeah, that might have been a mistake earlier uh, with Bocara uh, mouthing off with uh, referee Zach Snow. Gave Rick enough time to regroup, <laughs> recharge. Using his own weight and gravity against him. Into the corner again. Recon trying to get some momentum, a big uppercut there. Looks like going for another, gets it. Two vicious uppercuts into the corner there. A big scoop almost into a sidewalk slam variation there. Cover one, two, and a kick out wow, by Bokar. Not enough, unfortunately. Bokar is slowly up to his feet. Recon trying to look like going to the ropes here. Whoa! No, missed whatever he was going for. Oh, corner with Miscalculated, he landed a little short. Or Mario just wasn't there, he saw it coming. Two count only by Bokara. And Bokara still can't keep him down. Let's see going for it here. Feynman's oh. carry almost. No, float over by Recon. Switcher, go behind. Another one by Rick. Oh. The German oh. of his own. Oh. Beautiful German there. You saw he kept that sense in all the way, didn't release. Look at the leg. Kick out by Bokara. Crowd getting behind Recon here. Oh, look at that. Shot to the throat. Looks like he's trying to go for maybe a submission. Oh, no. Tried to get oh. Recon. Oh, he got his legs in the oh. corner. But, oh, my goodness. I would say it's called a German suplex, but it's the Croatian suplex. And Recon looked like he landed on Bokara there. Both men feeling the effects of that right now. Like he didn't get Recon fully up and over and he kind of landed on Bokara there. Landed on the head and neck, could really disorient yeah. Bokara here. Oh, for that Fireman's once again, no. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Went to super kick, ducked oh, it there. He poked Re Recon in the eye. Almost like a DVD there. Come on, one, what? Two, two. No! Kick out by Recon from that Death Valley driver there. And Mark is fired up. I think Nyla wants to be fired up, but she can't because she can't talk. Talk about fired up. Mario Bocara fired up in the corner here. Looks like he's about to kill referee and former. I don't blame him after, you know, Rick landed on his head. I mean, he, he is purely pissed right now, and he wants to end it. Oh, oh you oh, super okay. kick out of nowhere. So does Rick. Another one. Oh. A second there. Rick well, once time. again going. Springboard cutter. Cutter off the second rope. He's going for a cover, as it's in one, two, three. And Rick wins this match. Here is your winner, the cyborg assassin, Rick And where Rick missed it, not once, not twice. He finally got it on the third time, and it worked. Hell of a match between both men. Yeah, third time with the charm for Rick. Bit of momentum now for the Satsujin squad going into that big handicap match later on. Does this mean they're all back on the same page? They're going to need to be. As we said earlier tonight, they have a huge matchup later tonight against Anthony Gangone and TJ Marconi. Those two men, and AJ, you've been around for a very, very long time, and you've seen the type of men that they put down, TJ and Gangone, and tonight, they team up once again for the first time in a long time. And if Eric Jaden is badly injured as he says he is, I mean, is it De Niro and Barton and a one-armed Jaden versus Marconi and Gango? Yeah, I don't know who has the handicap right there. I think it might be the uh, Satsujin squad. That's what I said earlier. It's not really a handicap anymore with one arm and a sling.
Oh, man, it's South Philly. I, I'm here with uh, Mario Bocara. I mean, I know I'm upset, but you must be irate right now after that loss in the ring. This, what happened? This is garbage right now. BCW, you need, to, you need to look at what goes on around the ring. You need to pay attention to what people bring to the ring, who they bring, the entourages, everything. People, it's like an animal back here, the jungle. Everybody's running the show, except for who should be in charge. Mario Bocca should be on the top of the list of BCW. He should be in title matches. He should be in the main event. He should be the man here. But no, I get pushed to the ground. I get put in front of entourage after bull crap. You expect Mario Bocca to sit here and take this? I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, and everybody. You don't step on Mario Bocara, ever!